Hey everyone, this month I want to explore GenKit monitoring so you can monitor your AI features that are being deployed to production. GenKit monitoring is a feature of GenKit that provides observability into your GenKit flows using the Open Telemetry standard. This means that you can get automatic monitoring without needing complex configurations and easily export telemetry information to Firebase. To enable GenKit monitoring, add one line to your GenKit configuration. This would be enable Firebase telemetry from the Firebase GenKit plugin, which will then give you access to the GenKit monitoring dashboard in Firebase by exporting traces to cloud tracing, metrics, and logging. Let's take a look at that dashboard now. In the Firebase console, I can click on the GenKit tab and this will open the monitoring dashboard. In the dashboard, I can see at a glance the flows that have been run, how often my AI flows have been called, the success rate of those flows, and the latency of completing those requests. I can also inspect how many tokens each GenKit flow has consumed and produced, which is important to understand what may be driving my Vertex AI bill. We can then examine a particular flow by clicking on one of the flows. In this case, I'll click into the customer agent flow to see the metrics from this flow. Here, we can see the stability metrics in more detail as they provide graphs with a breakdown day by day of the usage of our feature with metrics like token usage, amount of requests, and success rate. If we click into one of the completed requests, we can see the same trace that we would get in the GenKit local developer UI. This allows us to find flows that may have failed and inspect them to learn more about what may have caused the failure. Speaking of trying to locate failures, we can even filter for failed traces to find these using the filter bar. Once we have found them, we can click into them and inspect why they were failing. From this error message, it appears that I wasn't using the right inputs into the prompt in one of my clients. Tracing requests is great as it can give us an idea of the types of requests being made in our app and give us an idea of what costs may be over time. But how do you know if users are actually enjoying the output from the prompts? Well, in an early preview and coming soon, the team is looking into adding user feedback, which allows your customers to submit feedback about the generated results so you can verify that the AI tool is giving the results that users are looking for. You can also add key events, called user acceptance events to measure how often a user is engaging with your feature the way you want, like when someone saves a generated itinerary in a trip planning app. In the GenKit monitoring dashboard, this will show up as comments and indications of a positive or negative reception. We are still fine tuning this feature, so be sure to check out the interest form below to sign up for early access to try out user feedback. If you wanna learn more about GenKit monitoring, or about the GenKit framework, check out the documentation below. I am Noe, and I cannot wait to see what you build next.